you doing, good people? This is the 8 bit animal. Any of y'all remember that one Looney Tune short where the kid is daydreaming and in class and a bunch of stuff starts happening? He's like fighting in a war and a boxer and all this other cool stuff. And he wakes up and just <laughs> and he looks goofy. Well, that's essentially what's happening in today's game. Um, it's from 1992, and while it's published by the marvelous folks over at HAL Laboratories, it was developed by Sculptured Software. And Sculptured Software kind of has a spotty history on the NES. HAL does not, though. HAL gave us those three really random um, Atari ports that were essentially test runs for Nintendo um, di having the NES distributed by Atari. Um, that's another story for another day. They developed and published the Lolo games, Kabuki Quantum Fighter, stuff like that. Air Fortress, Air Fortress is marvelous. We don't talk about Air Fortress enough. but. It's a one, it's, these were all wonderful games. This one had potential to be really cool, but fell flat in a couple of ways. Let's talk about it. Today, we're gonna take a quick look at Daydreaming Davey. Now, Daydreaming Davey is basically like he, different stuff happens, um, a bully steals his pencil and you know he falls asleep in class and is starts getting poked and prodded by a girl with really big glasses on and you think it yeah there's a lot happening um and when he falls asleep after these encounters he starts daydreaming and is teleported into other worlds that are kind of Zelda like top-down action pseudo RPG stuff that kind of thing and while this stuff is cool um, we got a lot of vague clues um, a lot of real sketchy controls um, a lot of interesting choices as far as quality of life in these games Lots of cutscenes pop up, um, and it all just leads to this game being a monumental disappointment. It could have gone so much better than this. Also, the level, the level selection. You got a you got a couple of levels where you play as a knight. You got a couple levels in the Old West, and you got a couple levels in Ancient Greece. Um, the Ancient Greece levels lead you to Hades, and yeah, it, it's a lot going on here, and not a lot worth writing home about, but this was probably one of Sculptured Software's better efforts. And that ain't a good thing, because like I said, Sculptured Software had a real spotty history on the NES. And this game is a great example of said spotty history. How could have handled this themselves? Look at the Lolo games. They could have given us a puzzle adventure game starring this little kid, and it would have been fantastic. They could have done like a weird side scrolling joint. They they did Kabuki Quantify. They could have did a schmuck in the same vein as Air Fortress. I commend them for trying to do something different, but their different just ended up being a really mediocre Zelda clone. And yeah, just a big pile of disappointment. Just disappointment all the way around. Not good. Mm -mm. Now if you decide you want a copy of Daydream and Davey, about $25 will get you that. It, it'll get that in your life for you right quick. And again, not a situation where I can really recommend going through the effort to get a copy because it's novel. 
but it ain't great. You know? Definitely not great. And ain't nobody out here looking for a complete set of HAL Laboratory published NES games. At all. I will say this though. The little the, the joint in the old west where you gotta disarm the guy. You can use the light gun, and that's actually kind of notable considering this game came out in 92. So there's that. Anyway, though. This has been the 8 bit animal. And I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow. Tomorrow, the king has returned. Two things. It's the last game released on the NES in Europe, and it's awful. Sorry.